Iran will soon unveil missiles with a 300 km range, Deputy Commander of the Army Aerial Defense Force announced on Sunday. Addressing armed forces staff, including the IRGC and the police, Brigadier General Al-Ariz Al-Hami said the only way to overcome all sanctions and threats is to empower all sectors, especially the military. Commanders, officials and managers in different sectors should take unanimous steps towards the goals of the Islamic establishment, he suggested. Alhami added, synergy and coordination between the various parts of the system is definitely a thorn in the enemy's eyes and will make the country to progress. Increasing the missile capability of the Army and the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps is one of the requirements for deterrence power and protecting national interests, the military official pointed out, stating that Iran shall not depend on any country in the field of strategic issues. Alhami said the development of missile power is a symbol of self-confidence and reliance on domestic power and knowledge. The military official went on to say that today observation, identification and tracking of all planes, drones and fighters in aerial borders, especially in the Persian Gulf region, is not Tehran's concern. He said, the production of completely indigenous radar with a range of 3,000 kilometers, as well as the superiority of various drones over an altitude of more than 47,000 feet in the Army Aerial Defense Force promise decisive control and moment-by-moment -moment observation in the aerial borders of our country. The military official added the Army's Aerial Defense Force has exceptional cooperation with scientists and academic institutions in the field of defense technology, artificial intelligence, cognitive sciences, quantum physics, cyber defense, electronic warfare and other areas of collaboration. Iran has spent many years developing nuclear-capable missiles. The U.S. Director of National Intelligence, James Clapper, asserted in his annual Worldwide Threat Assessment Statement in February 2016 that Iran would choose ballistic missiles as its preferred method of delivering nuclear weapons if it builds them. Iran's ballistic missiles are inherently capable of delivering WMD. Iran is working to enhance the accuracy of its medium-range and longer-range missiles and has also developed cruise missiles designed for attacking land targets. Iran has also strengthened the accuracy of its shorter-range missiles, exemplified by the January 2020 attack on the Ain al-Assad air base, hosting U.S. forces in Iraq. Iran's ambitious space program has also received significant international attention because of the technical convergence between ICBMs and space launch vehicles. A separate concern is that Iran has exported its missile capabilities to its proxies. These missiles also provide room for independent attacks by non-state actors in support of their own regional goals or strikes advancing Iranian interests that are deniable by Tehran. A prime example of this is the combined cruise missile and drone attack carried out on a Saudi oil facility in September 2019. The Houthis claimed responsibility for the attack, but Western intelligence sources claimed that there was no evidence that the attack was carried out from Yemen, but rather from Iraq or Iran. Iran has also armed Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad, and in recent years has shared its expertise with these organizations. This could be seen clearly during the recent military escalation with Israel in May 2021. As well as providing smuggled parts and weapons, Iran has supplied training to help Hamas improve the accuracy of their rockets and extend their range. Lebanon's Hezbollah has more than 150,000 artillery rockets and ballistic missiles. Its missile arsenal was used in 2006 during a 33 day war with Israel. In 2020, Hezbollah Secretary General Hassan Nasrallah claimed that his group was capable of striking the entire country with precision. Iran already has missiles that can reach targets in the Middle East Turkey, a NATO member, and Southeast Europe. 
On 1 December 2018, Iran reportedly tested a medium-range ballistic missile, thought to be the Karamshir, which could potentially hit much of southern and eastern Europe, and perhaps even France. The Karamshir has a range of 2,000 km when carrying a 1,000 kg payload and may be capable of achieving a range of at least 3,000 km if carrying a lighter payload. The Karamshir missile has likely been designed to deliver nuclear weapons, as it appears to be derived from North Korea's Musidin missile, which was also developed to carry a nuclear weapon. The threat posed by missiles originating from the Middle East has been a key driver of U.S. efforts to deploy missile defenses in Europe. NATO has long maintained that the missile defense system under development in Europe has been established in the light of threats from outside the Euro-Atlantic area.